old guy here, and the book today is the very best of Kate Elliott, which was, which are a series of uh, short stories written by, you guessed it, Kate Elliott. Now I don't know if you've read any of her stuff, but uh, her Crossroads trilogy is probably one of the best fantasies uh, written. And uh, I kept, when I finished the last book, I uh, kept expecting to see some more stories about a character in the trilogy called May. Well, rejoice, Eagle Writers, because there is a May story in this collection. It's called On the Dying Winds of the Old Year and the Birthing Winds of the New, which, yes, it's a rather cumbersome title, but it's about May. And you'll like it. You will. You even get to see Chief Tooby again. Now, the 12 other stories are uh, in the collection are just excellent advertisements for her other series, like uh, The Crown of Stars and Joran. And uh, there's enough, she gives you enough of a taste from, from uh, each of those series to convince me, and probably to convince you, that she's not replicating in other words, Crown of Stars it bears no resemblance to Crossroads. They're separate universes, separate rules, and all of it good. All the more reason to read them. And man, I need to get on those. But, but first I've got to finish the, you know, the 40 or 50 other books that I've got pending, which raises the questions, fellow readers. How do you prioritize? Generally, I try to finish books uh, in the order that they were acquired. So I'm working on uh, my way through a bunch of books that I bought at last year's Capclave. But that's cheating because I had a bunch of books pending when I bought those, so there's really no hard and fast rule. Especially if I've got uh, a bunch of books queued from uh, the Blue Ridge Download Consortium, which uh, only gives you 14 days to finish, and my reading speed has plummeted drastically in my old age. And now, I've got these Elliots to read. So many books, so little time. Now, my favorite story in this entire collection is the first one. It's called Riding the Shore of the River of Death. <laughs> you know, what's with these titles, man? But i got to say, this story is badass. The world it depicts is badass. And, you know, so be a badass and read it. My least favorite story of the whole collection is The Queen's Garden, which is an attempt at a uh, Chinese court tale, and, you know, it could stand a little more clarity, but, you know, that's fine. And then there's the essays. For some reason, uh, Elliot has uh, put in some of her uh, essays and uh, the introduction also, and uh, the essays and the introduction are dense, incomprehensible academy speak that only someone with an advanced degree in gender studies could understand. And then only through an ideological prism. Uh, from what I could guess, Elliot is mad because she was called a tomboy uh, growing up, which, you know, scratch of the head, uh, was a badge of honor when I was growing up. Any girl who could hold her own with the boys in football or racing or fighting was so christened and was, set, was sought after for such games. My, my sister was a tomboy. Heck, she was better at being a boy than I was. I guess Elliot objects to the appendage boy because it's sexist or something. Well... Before all you academics ruined the idea of the sexes, uh, it was how we differentiated between an innie and an outie. You know, girls, boys, purely in the physiological sense. So, I guess if boys consider a girl one of them and use a term that envelops her in the boyness of pre-adolescence, that's wrong? Would you like to use some other term? Uh, how about diesel engine? So, from now on, We'll call any girl that can beat the boys at their games a diesel engine. That way you uptight academics won't get offended. She also seems mad that there weren't any girl heroines for her to read about. Well, scratch of the head again, because best I can figure out, we're contemporaries. And there in deep south Alabama, I was going to the library and pulling out Madeline Langle and Andre Norton and Joan Aiken 
and read about Kit Tyler and Nancy Drew and Scout. And one of my top three books from childhood is Knee Deep in Thunder by Sheila Moon. Heavens, a female author with a heroine named Maris. I guess her part of Oregon just didn't have very good libraries. Anyway, skip the essays unless you're really into turgid polemics. Read the stories. They're outstanding. Old guy out. See you later. Thank you.